Setting personal financial goals can be difficult, especially if you want to make sure that you can actually achieve those goals that you are setting. So this method I'm sharing with you today is going to help you set those practical financial goals that set you up for success. And that is the OKR system. OKR stands for Objectives and Key Results. It's a method that is used by companies, big corporations, but you can 100% use this in your own personal life to set personal financial goals for yourself. So when you're using the OKR system, the first question you're asking yourself is, what do I want to achieve? What is my objective? So your objective, for example, could be, I want to become more financially secure. Once you have that picture, once you have that end goal in mind, you start to think about initiatives. These are things that are going to help you to achieve the thing that you actually want to get to at the end of the day, which is financial security. So what can you actually do in terms of practical actions that you can take in order to reach that? This can include things like starting a side hustle, finding ways to increase your income, finding a ways to spend less or control your spending, and so on. Once you have that, you then move on to key results. These are the different things that are going to indicate that you're actually making progress towards those personal financial goals that you're setting for yourself. So here again, working with the example of wanting to be more financially secure, key results could include things like, I have an emergency fund. I am not worried or stressed about how I'm going to pay my rent or buy food every single month. I am able to invest regularly. Those are your key results. So the idea here with OKRs is to bridge the gap between what you want to achieve and the actual practical actionable steps that you need to take in order to achieve what you desire. So I'm gonna share more details in the caption below, so be sure to read that and follow me for more.